G'day mates, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to complete the Sick Man of Europe journal entry as the Ottoman Empire in today's video. So let's get started. So diving right on in, we do have the Sick Man of Europe. The Ottoman Empire is in a period of steady decline. If we do not reassert Ottoman sovereignty and reclaim our place among the powers of the world, we risk catastrophe. Now, as you can see, you just hover your mouse over the blue button here. You can see here we get a bunch of Tanzimat journal entries. Now with this, we do get get some penalties as negative 33 prestige debuff, negative 25% taxation and bureaucracy, and we get a negative 45% in conscriptable battalions, and we get a higher religious tax. Okay, so taking out this the sick man of Europe here, all we need to do is complete four of these tens amount journal entries. Now, the ones we're going to be focusing on today is reclaiming Syria. We're going to be doing the army modernization, and we're even going to, we're going to try and do the education reform. Actually, to be honest, we're just going to try and do the lot. So for the reclaim Syria, all we need to do is grab the rest of Syria or like Palestine, Lebo. So we just need to do one war against Egypt. Completely fine. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to make that war even easier than what it needs to be. Now for Tanzimat urbanization, all we're going to do is just build industrial buildings all around uh, the Ottoman Empire, mostly in areas with low urbanization. So we can build that up. All we're going to do is build that to at least 75%. Now for the education reform, this is one of the harder ones, but all we're going to do is bring our literacy rate up to 20%. And we do need to have a level five university building. Now, suppress separatism. We just need to not trigger a, uh, a revolution. That's all we got to do. This one is pretty self-explanatory. Just don't pass laws that annoy people. Army modernization. Now, all we got to do is build up to at least 150 battalions. As you can see here, we currently got 145. So we just got to build up five more. And we also need to research Napoleonic warfare. And we need to make sure that our regular infantry, infantry focus, and cannon artillery are not evacuated. Now, how that works is we come over here to our buildings, development, you can see here with our barracks, we currently do have line infantry and we do have cannon artillery. So we do not want to have those activated. So once we grab Napoleonic Warfare, we'll activate line infantry and then we will activate mobile artillery. And last one is the bureaucratic reform. Now this one it can is pretty easy. All we need to do is not have hereditary bureaucrats, land-based taxation, consumption-based taxation, and just make sure your bureaucracy is in the big green over here. So as long as it's in a surplus, Plus, we great. If it's in a deficit, not good. So that's basically all the Tanzimats summed up. Okay, for taxes, we're going to go ahead and raise them all the way up. And then we're going to now put a consumption tax on services and tobacco. So we really want to try and make up as make as much money as possible. We're also now going to come over here with a construction sector and we're just going to increase it to level seven. So building about five in East Pace. Now, lucky for us, we have no places to incorporate for now. I mean, when we do go after the Syria Tanzimat, we will need to build some government administration buildings to obviously reclaim, uh, reincorporate them into the Ottoman Empire. But for our interests, we do have them in good places. We're actually going to go ahead, put one here in Ethiopia, and then we're even going to put one here in the Zanj region as well. Now for research. Now the biggest one obviously is going to be Napoleonic Warfare. So all, what you're going to do is left click. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to be focusing on our production. Society is pretty good. Uh, we could, we should probably move towards romanticism, but we really do want to get our economy off the ground. So what I highly recommend is you're going to hold down shift and left click on life so we'll grab cotton gin lives and then we're going to do atmospheric engine so then we can boost up our minds that so then we can support our iron frame buildings when we get to that production method and the next one will be hold down shift romanticism then empiricism now these will be the research in order that I highly recommend. It's something that I personally like to do. Uh, unless you just want to go down all of production, military. Again, it depends on what tantamount you guys are going for. But in this case, we're going to be go trying to go for all six of them. Okay, with that being said, we're now going to go ahead, just max out our barracks in Eastern Trace as well, which will get up to us, which will get us up to 150 battalions. Now checking a look at our market price, eh, nothing's all that bad. We mainly just want to go ahead and and build some tools a lot. So we're just going to go ahead, build up some in Bosnia, and then we're just going to go right ahead and build some iron mines a little bit all around the place. So just, we, just so we can urbanize the rest of the Ottoman Empire. 
So yeah, just focusing on our iron tools and wood. These are mostly the most important ones. Again, just building them a little bit all over the place uh, will really help out. So that being said, we are pretty good there. Uh, also do have the urbanized Ottoman Empire. It's the same thing as the Tanzimat urbanization. So they basically have the same thing, 75% and urbanization 75% as well. Okay, so for laws. Now this one, we're going to take a look at our reform our government. We're now just going to keep the intelligentsia in and what that's going to do is going to make passing stuff a lot easier now we do have peasant levies we want to get out of that very quickly but first things first the most important one is by far getting landed voting the reason why we want to get landed voting is so that we can have democratic parties and then what we can do is we can actually buff up said democratic party say for example i want to bolster up the intelligentsia increasing their clout which will allow us to pass giving them more political power which will help us pass laws a lot more easier but i'm not going to do that because we do really want to focus in on our literacy so for decrees i'm going to come over to here to promote social mobility i'm going to do one in eastern trace northern trace Western Thrace, Hudavendiga, Hudavendiga, I'm so sorry if I said that wrong, Skopje, Macedonia, Aden, mostly just chuck it anywhere, really, uh, it, it really, again, now we do have a bit of a small arms um, shortage, so we're just going to go ahead and import those for the meantime from the British market, and we'll also do the Russian market. Okay, now the m next and the, probably the most important step, uh, if in order to make this playthrough very nice, is we're gonna go for a puppet play on Persia. Now, we just need to hope to God that Britain or Russia doesn't want to get involved. Uh, but if we can puppet Persia, what will happen is they will actually help us against in fights with Russia or anybody else when we want to go to war with Egypt. It really just gives us that extra 48 battalions are just really helpful. So obviously, we're just going to move our dudes on over. Okay, so we're going to be keeping this man right here. All we need is just one to be chilling up here. That's really all that... Oh, send our 15 over as well. So we do have a offensive plan cruel charismatic meticulous so yeah these guys have pretty insane offensive buffs alone and it looks like we do have a little bit of a clear run here so if anybody does side with your war on persia i just highly recommend restarting uh, and doing it again uh just doing a little bit of a reroll or just save before you go to war and then just reload and see if it's any different from that now what we're going to do is we're actually now going to go ahead and do a naval invasion we're going to do a naval invasion on Laristan with our with Resmid Mohammed Pasha, our 70 battalions commander. And we're also now going to designate an objective onto Erika Jimmy. That's, yeah, Erika Jimmy is their capital state. What we're going to do is designate a um, strategic objective over there, and things are going to go quite smoothly. But once this uh, naval invasion lands, man, yeah, it's going to be a walk in the park, really. Uh, probably should have came over here, uh, but it looks like they've united on the front, so that's okay. So what I'm going to do is, for our next law, uh, we probably will pass uh, National Guard. Again, if you get something like me, uh, legislative fa failure, that's completely fine. Uh, it just may... Sl Again, everything in Victoria's Free is like a dice roll. It's really random. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to quickly do now is I'm going to go ahead and switch over to iron frame buildings now we do have a bit of a shortage but we're not losing a lot of cash um but yeah building things a lot quicker is by far the way to go All right, as you can see here persia is now currently losing i'm just gonna go ahead and pop at persia right away beautiful and just like that then not only now are we getting funds from their diplomatic pack we're now able to support our current construction method which is beautiful so with that being said with persia under our little belt it's pretty good now what we're gonna do is we're not really going to declare war on anyone all we're gonna do now is just go for a puppet play on jabal shamar and that's gonna be the final one we're gonna do and just let our infamy kind of sit in a little bit um with that being said yeah it's just gonna make life a lot easier and they just back down okay <laughs> and as you can see here we do we may actually get another setback which oh there we go we got success oh, no. also uh very important note we do have the truce with egypt up until january 1st 1840 so do whatever you can to i don't know prepare your military again napoleonic warfare do what you need to do uh, again for us we do have everything on line infantry for the meantime so yeah Okay, so we have researched Napoleonic Warfare. I kind of accidentally think the scheme would have popped up. 
Uh, we're now going to come over here to buildings, development. We're now going to switch on over to mobile artillery. Now, you're probably wondering, why can't we switch to mobile artillery in the conscription center? Well, that's because we need professional armies. So at the meantime, everything's going to be looking just a little bit bad. Just a little. Um, so yeah, uh, at the moment, our military, man, it's re it's not looking good. Uh, conscriptable battalions are just going to be, they're really bad. Um, now I think at the time of this, when this video will be released, there may be a massive overhaul to the, um, military in Victoria 3. So, um, do keep that in mind. So as you can see here, we do have our literacy almost up to 16% now, which is great. We have now researched cotton gin and now grabbing the laves. So yeah, upgrade with that, uh, upgrading our production methods would be very, very good. Okay, so I'm now going to go ahead and quickly build some arms industries. I'm just going to probably uh, build a lot in Ankara. Probably build up about five. Uh, just so then we can uh, get rid of this annoying um, artillery thing. So yeah, at the moment we can only produce cannons, which does suck. But yeah, again, building more of these arms industries, man, will really help out. Now, if you're unlucky like me right now. So yeah, at the moment, I'm kind of just waiting for my infamy. Okay, yeah, that's that's stored. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to just go to our government and we're now just going to Right, and we're going to check in the landowners and the church. Now, obviously, we can't pass that. Now, we want the rural folk and the armed forces, at least one of them to hop in. Uh, which, well, here we go, rural folk and intelligentsia. Yeah, beautiful. So, again, just keep re-rolling. Again, see what works. We're now going to try and push for professional army, uh, which would be good. Now, as you can see here, we are in a bureau bureaucratic deficit, so we do need to build a government administration building, but we're also getting pretty close with our literacy. Nice. Now, we do have they do have a preserved peasant levies, um, so we should be fine. Okay, with that being said, so at the moment, uh, we are infamous at 30, and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to Egypt, and we're going to go ahead and start a return state play. Now, all we're going to do is hope to gosh that, okay, the United States wants to get in. All we want to do is return everything. I mean, just grab everything. Uh, really don't matter about the consequences. Now, in, we want to also grab war reps. War reps, very important. Um, um, and we basically, that's all you want to do. You don't want to liberate any countries. You kind of just want it to, you know, you really just want to leave it the way how it is. Uh, we must see to it that, yes, Prussia and Austria. Okay, so, uh, also keep enough maneuvers. Um, okay, Great Britain is sided with Egypt. That is definitely not a good sign. Uh, they want to transfer over Tripolitania. And it looks like we have completed a Tanzimat entry? Um, bureaucrat. Oh, we completed the military one. Right, okay, well... Uh, uh, yeah, we did that. <laughs> uh, I, I guess so. Um, okay, so with that being said, uh, yeah, things are going to get a little bit rough. Um, as you can see here, yeah, we may end up losing Tripolitania. Uh, annoyingly enough, we can't get France involved. Um, so that is going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, and but yeah, lucky for us, we got Persia. All and here we go. We are going here now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a naval invasion straight away on Toloa. Egypt, grab your 70 dude and go right into it. Now, obviously, with e uh, Great Britain involved, it's going to be a bit harder. Um, and no, we oh my god, what just happened? Um, okay, well, apparently, um, now obviously, uh, yeah, laws are going to be a little bit difficult to pass. Uh, they're not going to be easy, that is 100% given. They're going to be annoying. It's just, yeah, really does suck. Um, now, but once we do grab Egypt, however. Um, they will hopefully be a minor power by the time uh, we can go to war on them again. Uh, so that's probably the biggest one uh, we definitely want to do. And we didn't even get... Uh... Now, it looks like, yeah, man, the British have really waltzed up in here and absolutely destroyed me. So I'm just going to send my little five over here. Oh, no, there we go. Okay, thank gosh. Okay, we've now managed to return Odana. And we have managed to reclaim the Syria Tenzimat just. Um, it looks like Great Britain does want to accept that. Um, but we're not ticking down. So I feel like we may have just dodged a bullet here. 
Okay, so with that being said, we've already done half the Tanzimat entries already. So, uh, all we now we have the Tanzimat to reclaim all of Egypt, or we just got to... Um, now, suppressed separatism is almost done. Our literacy is doing pretty good. Um, all we need to do now is just build five universities. Now, the bureaucratic reform is definitely not going the way how we want it to go. Alright, so now that we have access to the atmospheric engine, as you can see here, uh, I'm going to go right ahead and build a lot of coal mines, uh, mostly in southern Serbia. We're going to build about a good solid 11. Now, what this is going to do is, with the atmospheric engine, they will allow us to pump more uh, coal, and then in return, we can activate atmospheric engine iron, which in return will allow us to pump more iron, because it consumes coal. So it's basically a nice feeding frenzy. Uh, and, well, it looks like the United States had finally decided to show their backbone. And, well, it's... I feel, Yeah, no, we're definitely going to lose Tripolitania here. So, uh, rest in peace. Um, yeah, man, it's a little bit of an L for us. But that is okay. They may have Tripolitania. All right, so since we're making a decent amount, so I'm just going to keep reinvesting. I'm going to have our construction sectors in Constantinople, or Istanbul, um, up to level 10. So, yeah, now we're building about three coal mines at the exact same time, which is great. And we're still a great power as well, which is better. Literacy-wise, we are doing very good. Um, and now I think after this, we are definitely going to go ahead and build up five universities in our capital once again. Okay, so now we've got the atmospheric engine pumps activated for our iron and coal mines here, which is great. And we could, yeah, we're getting pretty close to completing our atmospheric engine journal entry. Um, Yeah, I'm just having a really hard time at the moment passing law laws. I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, going through it pretty briefly, uh, but it looks like the British and French rivalry has ended uh but no france has uh they don't like me as you can see here they are a little yeah a little bit antagonistic uh so yeah it's a bit of a shame but with that being said i can uh build more construction sectors actually no i feel like we'll go ahead and build about four in northern trace for now i think that would be perfect so with that being said we're going to go ahead chuck all those universities in all that lizard so yeah, this should go by pretty quickly, uh, which will be great. And we had failed again, man, I am... Okay, so now our university is at level 5. Now, one thing you guys do need to keep in mind is universities do take away your weekly balance. As you can see here, mine's costing around 5,000 bu buckery dues a week. And we now have romanticism. Okay, now having romanticism is good because that means we can move out of traditionalism into agrarianism. Now, agrarianism isn't good. But getting out of traditionalism, man, as you can see here, this negative 50% capitalist investment took... Uh, investment pool contribution, shopkeepers and aristocrats. It's very bad. Even ruins our ta taxation capacity. It's really awful. But for research, obviously, we're going to move now to water tube boiler, and then we're going to go ahead and move to mechanized workshops. As you can see here with the education reform, we're getting very close to increasing our literacy rate up to 20%, which is perfect. Alright, so I'm just going to not bother try with racial segregation. I'm going to see if we can move towards agrarianism or professional army once again i feel like we may have a better chance i'm probably biting my own tongue here all right so i found a dedicated police for work dedicated police force works with me so that's very nice okay we are now chilling at 19.9 percent .9%. there we go 20 percent um which should now help us increase our literacy which is great increase our literacy of great but oh by 20 percent Oh, oh, I misread that. I'm. Oh, we need to get to 35 point something. Okay, man, that's a little bit wild. Um, but no, we'll be fine. Oh, wow, the the three states of America, eh? Um, that looks like absolute fun. Um, constitutional monarchy versus a republic. Okay, America being a monarch, a monarch type country. That oh, that's cursed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead, quickly uh, build up some of these lovely tilling workshops. I'm just going to build a couple in all these areas, to be honest. And we now have dedicated police force. Beautiful. And we're now even going to build some government administration buildings. At the moment, they are not low. Our bureaucracy, terrible. Absolutely terrible. But as you can see here, our truce with Egypt is a little bit over, and they are still an unrecognized major power. So what we're going to do is, 
since that's still the case, we're now going to go ahead and return the states of Lower Egypt and all these other places. As nobody has an interest on here, which is pretty good for me. <laughs> uh, so if they do have an interest on there with for you, uh, good luck. So we're going to just go ahead, return all these states. Now, obviously, we were able to absolutely dominate Egypt last time. Uh, we're going to grab war reps, etc. like that. Russia has embargoed us, which is probably meaning they're probably going to get to side with them uh, if we're unlucky. And yes, they did indeed. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send my 70 down here. Um, it, I think it's uh, no, transferring over Persia. Well, that's not a good one, is it? I'm getting a little bit unlucky today with my so i feel like i'm playing like a i'm like doing some major gamble at the moment okay so i'm gonna go ahead quickly focus on egypt uh the quicker they capitulate the better so actually i'm gonna go ahead and get a naval money so hopefully we can get that in we're gonna go ahead activate our conscripted battalions and there we go just like that we're now able to push on back which is great um, so yeah, Egypt should die down a little bit later on. And we've met, also managed to complete the atmospheric engine as well. And we've even grabbed a water tube boiler. So yeah, we are doing it pretty well for ourselves. We're just going to add, upgrade it to condensing engine pump once again. But with that being said, we are the eighth strongest economy in the world, uh, surpassing Prussia and the Japanese shogunate. And we had even managed to return all of Upper Egypt as well, getting ourselves a positive bureaucracy buff, which has completed that Tanzimat entry. Now, we're just going to complete one more, which would be Suppress Separatism. And it looks like Russia is, uh, yeah, they uh, don't look like, it doesn't look like Russia's holding up well here. Um, so, I mean, obviously, we're not going to capitulate. They're going to just have to lower down. So, yeah, if you get stuff like this, yeah, kind of just roll on with it, you know what I mean? But with all this bureaucracy, we're now going to come over here to state actions, incorporate states. We're going to do Syria. Basically, all these areas that we have conquered, we're going to go ahead and reincorporate them into the Ottoman Empire, finally, after so gosh darn long. Now, for politics, we're going to come over here to the government. We're going to reform it with the rural folk. And uh, professional army is still looking like it's on a whim here, but I am pretty sure we can go for it and with that russia's war goals have been enforced on back onto them even though we didn't really grab anything win um but yeah see like this uh a good old revolution if you see this and it's at 170 see this if, click just click off it immediately don't even bother you, you, you'll complete the tens of entry and you can kind of just go at your own and there we go suppress separatism is now completed and we've even completed the sick man of your tamzamat the reorganization the ottoman empire has successfully modernized and reasserted itself on the world stage a new era begins for the ottoman state now we can do a bunch of things here we can grab home army defense offense and defense or we could get even more claims and reconquer the balkans now personally for me I do like going for the Ottoman army reorganization just because I do want to push towards skirmish infantry. But we're going to just, I'm just going to grab this one because it looks like Austria in this campaign ain't doing so well. Um, so yeah, right on about that. And they even have pretty funny. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is how you complete the sick man of Europe here in Victoria 3. If you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to comment down below and subscribe. So yeah, this is how you guys complete the Sick Man of Europe journal entry here in Victoria 3. If you guys want to see more guide videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.